yeah, he's, 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 he's support. He's that's the support player. player. That's the support player on Clinks on position one. Yeah. So he's gonna pick Shadow Tens, hundred percent. Both uh, big cores on and, the second picks as well, and Quark on the Phoenix. Yeah, gonna be picking all the way at the end. Uh. So Frisky for sure gets one of the big teamfight ultimates on, on Slark. Yeah. And then the kids, I, th I still think he gets Realm, Shadow Realm here. To be honest, Even like, with the nerfs, it's still yeah, okay. Yeah, Kisses on here the... looks so good. Uh, I feel like Kisses should be picked up pretty quickly because that's such a good ability here. Um, mm, there's Blink. I mean, Nova also is super good. Yeah, I didn't Blink see it first. Blink, then Slide of Blink, Fist. Blink, Rabbit, Circus Blood actually also in the pool. Exactly. Okay, so Slug, yeah, the Slug pick is going to be the first one. But just Frisky, Drisky. I think, I think it's it. Ravage, but maybe it could be Blink too. Yeah. One of those. Oh, yeah, he actually see, picks I, the I Realm. It. I, I called it. He I did not expect like, this to happen. I fucking called it. Now the kid gets it. the blink and maybe slide yeah. on fish? Or Probably is slide he just on leaving fish, it. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Kraken. Kraken, yeah. Circus blood yeah. to the tides. The top top abilities are getting picked out. And, and we start not a lot of stuns in this pool. Ah, well, no, I was... Okay, then the other support gets the ravage, okay. Uh, phew, there's so little stuns. Gosh, good laning ability. Mm. Yeah, you got Curse Crown and the um, Quack, Thorn. Maybe Essence with Rumble Maze. With Slides. Yeah, yeah that's Essence. The essence. Okay. But there's still Slide in the pool. It would, and it would be actually pretty good on Phoenix if uh, it makes it way back. Okay, but... he takes a lot of Slide, but now you can get little Shredder on Snapfire if you really want to. Yeah, I think he's at the offlane. I think he's gonna play the support. Yeah, I think it's a play support. Though. No, he's offlane on the snapfire. So is it offlane? Okay, yeah. okay. So if there is an option. I'm not sure they'll take it, but it's possible they'll pick it up. I think it still takes like Shredder or the Invis. Yeah, that's okay. nice too. They got an Invis one. That's now that's we can actually fine. pick Shredder on Phoenix, or you get the Astral Spirit. And that's the Anchor Smash and that's the... combo we talked about. Yeah, yeah. the meme combo. Yeah, and Shredder. And there's a little Phoenix. Shredder. All right. It's not bad. It's not bad with Essence. Indeed, Draven mm. setting up for the, yeah, for the supernova. With yeah, the but birds. you can actually pick it on Frisky now, the supernova. Yeah, that's yeah, true, true, one true, of the true. few CC left. The Bramble Maze, and now Fish needs some some nukes. Let's see what yeah, he's going for. Probably. Maybe he's going sticky and hopes for Dark Pact or Flame Guard on the way back. <laughs> Maybe. Ah. Uh -huh. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> sticky been picked. Okay. I mean, Pounce um, is also still in the pool. We'll he could just Chris do, did. honestly, on Slark, he could just do Sunray, Sunray with Supernova. Or you get Primal Split. Yeah. I did not have to pick it first, but it was good, good choice to pick the Supernova on, uh, on this turn because you don't want to leave it to, to the Elder Titan. No. But he, like you said, he has another, he had a chance to pick it earlier because Eldros already has his uh, his uh, ultimate pick. Yeah. So I think Sunray is the, the best end. option, but maybe he hopes nobody's gonna pick it up on, and so gets it on the way back. Gets the yeah, cookie, cookie also actually quite good. Okay. Yeah, it's the one of the last stuns in the game. I think Astro Spirit maybe goes on Dark Willow if he wants to have some right click for later on, but he goes ah, full new. All right. Could do well, flame guards on on fish. Yep. Yeah. Okay. That's a. It's a combo. It, it falls off. It falls off pretty hard. But the thing is, he has Kraken Shell, so he has something to stay relevant. Uh, but he's wow. really strong. So the, the drive by Ravage, <laughs> first <laughs> of its <laughs> fantastic. I think Fish has uh, Quack has to pick the Astro Spirit right now. It's really important for him. You don't want it on Queen anyway. Oh, okay. leaves it for the. Actually, uh, maybe Flame Spirits, uh, Fire Spirits are probably worse. But uh... what the hell? Okay, doesn't pick it. That's the that's instead. a mistake, I think. Leaving the Astro Spirit, it's it's. So I mean, there hard. is a crit still as well, right? There's the Drunken Brawler also. Yeah, but the Astro Spirit is so good. It's really, really strong on the on right clickers. Yeah. And there's Burning Spears as well. There's also Pounce. We've not talked about Pounce. Quark can maybe pick it up as well. There's the Astral Spirit going away, though. So Cowboy, got to have a pick up his ultimate. Probably Kisses. Mm, yeah, or just his own or like Sonic Wave. Sonic Wave. Yeah. yeah. And Pounce, too. Okay, some mobility is on. fine, too. I still would have preferred One. The Astral Indeed. Spirit. A more left. Searing Chain still here. Oh, okay. Draveth showing us that he wants to play Zoo. 
pick it up the primal oh. spray. Uh, wonder, very, what not kid, very uh, to see. wonder what fish picks the if it's the Mortimer kisses or the the lasso. I, I'd expect it to be kisses. Kisses is so so good here. But I mean it's... his his build is so tanky that lasso kind of makes sense too. Yeah. yeah okay. It's the it's a more guaranteed kill uh, every every minute with the lasso. Absolutely, I would have thought kisses would have been such a uh, such a contested ability more than the ones we picked in here. But I th um, but yeah, these teams Sun seem Rain? to disagree. Yeah, nice. Sunray. Yeah. And is he getting just scream on scream? Slings? Yeah. yeah, or maybe just the. Uh... What is so I was gonna say, Strafe is a bit interesting though. What is this? What position is this Krinks? I don't. I think it is still support. I don't know what else it can do. Um, what, why is it getting a Strafe? What are you though? right clicking though? Yeah. What are you right clicking with Strafe? I don't think there's anything there. It's not hitting very hard on Krinks. No, maybe it was a misclick. Ah, maybe I mean, for the egg. For the helped. egg. For the egg counter actually. Ah, right, right. No, you're right. That is definitely, definitely a, the consideration there. Yeah. Then it makes sense. Smart. Yeah. All right. Really. That makes sense. And uh, so we got some, some good damage on both sides. Oh, the uh, Titan builds. I completely slept on that one. Uh, actually, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty oh, good Titan to build. Getting into our first game of this tournament for day two. And the winner of this game will be one step closer to earning their place in the grand finals. We'll see which team is able to eke out that, that win. And smoke that. from uh, the nautical knights let's see if no smoke from uh the team kids here all waiting in the base patient yep. and we see the wrap around that so many uh teams made in in this tournament yep. go almost to this every area. first blood go yeah literally <laughs> first blood district you know running right into the neighborhood it's a dangerous neighborhood everyone knows it now Literally, oh, the pings are there. They already, they already know the pings are there. The ward is up on the cliff as well. They need to be very careful. They know everyone is here, and there's the first stun. And another the victim. Is there as well, <laughs> and that's going to be guaranteed first blood going to fish. And one permanent agility for Quack. Uh, does he get about that? Oh yeah, yeah, he does. As long as you are in, within three hundred uh, range yeah, yeah, yeah. of the kill, you still get it. And he has That's a stack. That's crazy. Mode. Yeah, he's gonna be happy about that one. That's the one thing that Phoenix lacks. It's agility. Yeah, not quite known to be the most agile of heroes. Actually, he likes to lane against his Titan Hunter on, on Phoenix. And yeah. get a ton of essence stacks on him. Indeed. All right, and then two runes. Oh, actually, three runes going to. Uh... Hang on. It's. How do they manage to get three runes? Well, I think they retreat. They lose. Their... <laughs> they lose. They... I thought they had control of the river. Huh. Awkward. But yeah, three runes going to the team kid. So first blood on the other side, but uh, fairly even on gold then actually. After so all, he of needs that. a reconnect or whatever RR means. So let's analyze the lanes. I would assume that Dyer wins the top lane because this does not look like a really good matchup here for. Uh, the tide and the, the clinks. I don't think they have yeah. the answers for Phoenix and Slark. Quark should just kill mid them all lane. Yeah. I think the kid should be fine. He has to blink to get away from the, the sticky yep. flame guards. And scatter blast. Uh, Probably a wash, stand. both just farming. Yeah. Yep. And bot lane. And bot lane. Um, mm, I think it looks actually quite even i think cowboy eventually after they get more points he needs level he needs levels he needs levels yeah. on, and so it should be more even on the bot lane until like quite quite a few levels have snap been can level astral and just bully him on on the queen so depends on it's a lot on the player skill here on the on the bot lane but if the snapfire knows how to play this build i would even say that he that's dire should win this lane too 
Because space needs like level three at least Goodness. to uh, apply uh, some pressure. But level one slide is not very strong. That, that was unreal. Area yeah. is super small and cool. And the damage is, is quite weak. Yeah, you either want to max that out early or you want to max the Ankh smash early. I think because the other two teams are quite, uh, are they quite, quite, are quite melee, aren't they? Yeah, so you could possibly play it quite close with the anchor smash and just force them to not be able to sit in the, in the creep wave. Nah, it's just, it. you normally want to slide and during the slide you cast the anchor smash and then it also applies the bonus hero damage from the slide with the anchor oh. smash. So it's double okay, okay. bonus damage. Hmm. And I think that's the goal, but you need some, how would you, some how levels. How would you level that up then? Yeah, how would you level that? Would you would you prefer to level Side of Fist over Anchor Smash? Or would you yeah. do it both equally? No, you, side of Fist you, first. You max Slide and put one level in Anchor. That's You're not enough. noticing I'm slaying Slight, slight of Fish. <laughs> I, always, I also, I always call it Slight of Fish. Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I always call it like that. <laughs> Looks like both teams now are back to readying up. We should see the pause. Yeah, and then we're gonna get the game going again one more time there. Back in the action. We'll see how this bot lane turns out. And he leveled the fire spirits and not the gush, so kill potential. Not a lot of kill potential for for them right now on, on the bot lane. Let's switch to CS. A lot, a couple of nice denies are coming out already from the. Dire team, so Nautical Knight's doing a good job shutting that farm down early. Yeah. Let's see what's the most interesting lane to watch. Probably even the top lane, right? Expect most action here. Phoenix trying to, to trade a lot, probably here. And especially once he has Shredder applying all those six S and Shift stacks, it's it's really really painful. Stealing all yeah, those true. stats. Oh, uh, not fully in range. Just parts it up. Yeah, as soon as he turned it on, they had the they literally had the P line almost completely Ooh, out. Oh, actually clicks. going. The right clicks are huge, and Eldorus actually got oh. the right click to go. Doesn't quite get it on him, but Frisky Frisky with the save, getting the sun ray to secure the kill. Nice plates. Yeah. And we were looking Sometimes at the right lane. Careful. Indeed. <laughs> Good job so far, 100 One bot lane. Occupation. Space in trouble. Runs into the yeah. One more maze again. Get him. The spirit supply. really slow. The spirit's doing. Oh, it looks like Tom's going to die, and Space Company is going to get that kill. He's got Slide the Fist again. Still, you can really chase it down. They have no slow yet. But yeah, all rich now need to be a little bit That's careful. That's so one more gush, and there's a gush, but no. Top lane again, though. No. Oh, false alarm. Looked a little bit hairy for a second there. I don't think so. Oh, fish, losing the CS battle. A little bit against the kids. And also a bad, way better attack animation on on Dark Willow than Batrider. Yeah, and Batrider suffers and a Quack bit stealing as well. all the stats in the world from this Clinks. It's dropping low. No, but Shanti trying to shove him back a little bit. Yeah, the, it, the Firefly deals so much damage now. I mean, not level one, but once you have it in level two, it's insane damage. I think they want to go aggressive again with the cookie. Now. They're going to try and catch him. He's going to get all the full uh, little shredder on him. There comes oh. the lane as well, but they've turned onto Eldoras, and Eldoras might be dying here. In fact, he no, doesn't. He might be burned out. No, he's going to be fine. Frisky Drisky has no mana to be able to cast anything else right now. And they're going to try and slow him down. Eldoras still Lotus. putting a little bit of pressure on him. And I think he's actually going to dive under the tower, but I don't think it's going to work out for him. And he's Another just going to run away. Quack, uh, fish, being really aggressive. Yeah, the problem was they had there was such a huge creep wave they were fighting into, so it was maybe not the right timing to go on uh, on clinks and on tides. If, 
way too many creeps around them. Yeah, and Space Cowboy actually already showing that ability, that uh, build is doing wonders for him. Getting a nice bit of harassment damage onto Tunf. Yeah, now he's level 3, now he's actually strong. Uh, yeah, but he's running low on mana. Yeah. yeah. Maybe gets an item to help him sustain that. But I mean, Queen of Pain is pretty good mana gain, uh, I'd assume, being an intelligence hero. Yeah, she should all, be quite there's okay. There's good stat scale overall, the Queen of Pain. Also 2.4 strength, 2.5 agility. Really oh, yeah, good stat wow. scale. And they buffed Null Talisman, so maybe, maybe it's even okay. They did buff Null Talisman, yeah. It was too shit uh, before, and now with one mana region, mana region, it's actually not that bad anymore. If you need something small for mana region, it might be okay now. Yeah, for arguably a slightly more money than a Ring of Bassi, you get the same mana region, but lots of stats as well, including extra money, uh, extra uh, mana bonus. So, yeah. Oh, they go aggro oh, on the They're gonna go for, yeah, they're gonna go on Eldoras again. He's gonna take a couple more hits. Oh. oh, he's barely gonna survive though with a little bit of regen from the tower and from the tr uh, eating a tree, keeping him a little bit better sustained that time. He's gonna play it very close to the close to the edge right now though. Yeah, it was 20, 20 or so HP. He managed to just just squeeze past out of vision and the attack range. And let's have a look at mid again. CS wise, Fish 23, the kid 36, 13. Yeah, but it's the kid, man. We knew the kid was going to do well. In this yeah, game. but Looks I think like the, the goal. Oh, look at the first item he's going for. I don't know if he's doing this as a joke or if this is serious, but I love it. Dagon. Dagon. Yeah, with Blink. If you want to do a Dagon new Gaming. Oh, I'm so pleased. Dagon should be built in every single game. Meanwhile, bot lane, yeah, Tumph is taking quite a lot of damage here. Gonna be disarmed for a second. They're gonna catch everyone now in the tree, uh, in the brambles. But they're gonna try and get away here. Actually, Jan Ulrich has to kind of and fly away with the Ipnus guys. Now Fish got a haste. It's gonna be lassoing up. Uh, Space Cowboy. Space Cowboy is gonna do his best to try and get the damage out, but it's not going to work. And Tumph is gonna get that kill. Oh, and Meanwhile, Quark. on the top lane, Quack. Another kill on Eldoras. And plus two permanent agility now. She was happy about that attack. one. Uh, kid trying to apply some. Uh, he's also really strong. Uh, both mid laners really strong at rotating and ganking with their builds. Yeah, Fish absolutely. getting the boots of travel to be more active on the map. Yeah, and it just makes sense if you get Flaming Lasso for you, but you to be able to jump in there and get the speed. And but now he needs yeah. he just needs a few more levels on the on the bed rider. Just he only has one one level in sticky at the moment. Yep. Really wants to Dyer's max it. I think three killed. levels in Flame God is enough to be honest. Uh, so only an extra ten damage a second. Problem um, about the longer, though, you just yeah. need one dispel and uh, fish is not dealing any damage anymore. Exactly. You can dispel the flame garden. That's that's a bit a, of an is there issue. At all at the moment. Uh, that was gonna quite look like it now. Yeah, all uh, actually, deal, all it just deal enough. All it just deal enough Looks magic like damage. Looks gonna get oh. gone on by the kid, and the kid's gonna clean up that kill very easily. Just blinked in, used the terrorize. Uh, Bedlam actually was the choice on in that particular instance. Ah, uh, just stop playing tight, cutting the creep wave. Frisky sticking around him, so, waiting for Quack. Uh, I think Quack just wants to farm. Him. Hmm. Pretty Quiet even. Game, yeah. Look, switch to Networth. Pretty even. Currently, very composed from both teams, just taking their time, not taking too many risks. Huh? Playing it cool, calm, collected. Top gank on Tide Hunter. A bit of a, yeah, aggression there. Tide Hunter overstaying his welcome there as Fish yeah, rotates to try and catch him out. Gets away. He's just gonna, yeah, Flame, uh, Firefly doing its work, giving him free parving. Fish El not interested. Oh, what? Elder runs yeah. back into them. That was... I thought he could get the frisky risky just because he didn't expect to get away there. I think it was that. fine. It would have been fine if he just kept running here. But uh, for some reason he turns, runs into the arms of Quack. 
Meanwhile, Tom again running into the arms of the kid as the kid comes down bot lane and getting another kill for himself on that support. And top. Oh, Frisky and Shanti both dying. And Quack's, and Quack's getting, pretty yeah. happy with that. Yeah, yeah getting that kill. Do. Now sitting on four. Yeah, with a oh, lot yeah, of wow. items. Every time I look at a different lane, the, 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 the fight is just over. <laughs> Did he use a his ultimate? No. A lot of aggression now. So, and Slap, not six yet. Space Cowboy, though, is finally getting uh, quite close to the, the finishing his build with yeah. the um, side of fist anchor smash almost maxing out. It looks like he wants to build up that Maelstrom, uh, yeah. Maelstrom, yeah, help him to get that farm off. Makes sense with side of fist and with anchor smash as well. Yeah, makes uh, sense. Don't I wonder what he's going after that. That's uh, that's going to be interesting. Time. Maybe he even goes... Just finish it, Maelstrom, or maybe, yeah, maybe he goes for something slightly... A lot of uh, options. Not like of options. Gleipnir, yeah, Octor, sure. you can even go Octarine with that build. Octo yeah, boots of travel. Could even uh, pick up like uh, Mage Slayer to play like a normal side of fist. And in fact, sure. top lane, Quark's looking for this kill here at either us. Oh, actually, that was a very, very quick little shredder kill. Only one point in the essence shift really needed that max little shredder melting through the support. Yeah, yeah, actually, he's got a lot of mobility on Quark with the pounces and the fire remnant. And he's got some decent upgrades with the Agonims as well. Oh, Shanty actually, might be low. getting this kill. He's gonna go. One more right click will do one it. One more. One more right click will do it, and he does find him. And Draper actually might be overstaying here. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to survive. Alderas is coming in as well. They're gonna pop the um sun, the the egg as well, but they're gonna also throw in these ultimates uh, back at him. They're gonna try and get Quark away. Quark barely does get away. The Ravage is gonna be used as well. The Primal Spin also gonna be used, and there's gonna be this flaming lasso. The Spirits are trying to chase down Armorage now, but it's gonna be zoning out Fish as he's stolen a, a tornado, and it looks like most of Dyer are gonna actually survive out of here. Draveth running for his life here. The stun is maybe gonna get him a little bit of time as Fish is forced to try and chase him down, but he's going to finally get that kill under the tower. And here's going to jump in as well. And I think this is going to be the death of Shanti as well as he just respawned, trying to come and t help his team. He's now using Firefly to run away, but I'm not sure he's going to be able to get out of this. Frisky Drisky getting a little dangerous, but it looks like they're all going to be okay. And that, at the end of that fight, uh, Nautical Knights come out without a loss. Yeah, that's completely surprised really through that. Fight. That was a really good fight for them. Crazy. The only thing uh, going for space was farming the whole time. That was the only good thing for the team kit, but the fight went really, really, really well for the Nautical Knights. Getting four kills. Uh, even the kit running into uh, the Ravage. Yeah, four for zero. Oh, bot lane as well. They tried to get a, good, get a kill onto Quark, but it won wasn't successful. I just saw Space Cowboy try to get um, away using their ultimate, but what wasn't able to do it. Yeah, Quark uh, literally just highlighting that they're choosing to go more. more um, I mean, the builds probably make sense to go to max pound second anyway. So you don't want to max that shit. But I mean, the utility of just be able to get in and out with pounds and then just mm -hmm. fire in the back it was so useful for him to kind of survive and the that titan also in trouble here yeah they're gonna find Alone him as well on the tower. one more uh, little shredder's gonna him. secure it he doesn't have a spirit right now to escape but they're looking for the support instead as in fact tunf is gonna be okay as he takes a skeleton walk away and quarks is gonna run a long way around could place a remnant tp Lotus back and remnant oh, okay tp on cooldown for 15. Yeah, but Shredder got buffed, like, beginning of the patch, I think. Uh, deals now more fixed damage. And as you can see, with combined with Essence, it's quite a lot of damage. Yeah. Even on a hero that's not Snapfire. Oh, he wants to... Quark coming plate. in now, he's gonna get Eidoras again. One no more. No yeah, no don't the little Shredder, but like a couple more right clicks, and wow, that drop. Secures it. I am TP boots now finished for him as well, and he's gonna do exactly what you suggested. He's gonna get a spirit out, and he's just gonna wait, go back to base, heal up, and then come in with yeah, full HP. And they're gonna probably push his tower. Yeah. He Meanwhile, fish mid lane, looking for the witch blade, and it's gonna be shoving the mid lane as well. Yeah, he's a big witch blade fan. Uh, fish. Which witch blade? <laughs> witch blade. Yeah. <laughs> witch? No, no, witch blade. Witch blade. 
Oh, which which plane? Oh, it looks like uh, to interrupt my hu humiliating oh. sense of humor. Space Cowboy's gonna get caught, disarmed, lassoed, and they're gonna be killed off by the two supports. Fish just coming in to help secure the last bit of that. Uh, I think they're gonna convert this into a tower on the mid lane instead. Oh, and the kids. Does he yeah, wanna go like echo? Teleports it all the way back to the He's top really going for that day on um um uh, Yeah he is. Kids. I'm, He's normally, I'm, a I'm not so impressed when Kid plays a Nuka build. He's still good with it, <laughs> but... He's more he, of a right-clicker. Yeah. He's best yeah. when he gets a right-click build. I He's still that. decent. He's still decent as a with nuking, but... Not as impressive. Yeah, the Witchblade applied on Kid dropping really low. Yeah, I think he just TP'd down to that lane as well, so that's gonna be stinging for him. Looks like I want to get the tier one slowly on bot lane. I'll take that. They're considering looking for Quark. Looks like both the supports rotating here, and most of the team is around in the tier one here on the top lane. I think they're trying to clear up and make some space for Space Cowboy to take. Can the Clinks? I uh, need one more. Link even I'm not even sure if those three can kill the. Kill Quack with his escapes. He just TP's yeah, out. Quack now, though. He's just going to go for bot lane. They're going to try and take this tower. Quack wants the last hit. Give him the extra increased gold. And there's going to be the... Doesn't quite get it. Unfortunately, Tom was... Man uh, uh, fortunately, Tom was ma ha happy to take that last Fish hit. Fish TPing in here alone. Into three people. Yeah, there's no TP on his uh, on his core. So they're going to go for the lasso. The arm is there. And now the inner fire is going to try and push. Oh, Fish coming in from the... Pack. Quark not coming in, but they're gonna pop the primal split and he's gonna get the stun on him first. Shanti though, gotta be careful. He does have the armor, he's toggling and doing a good job with that. But there's gonna be a, a burning sun right behind them, illuminating everyone. And now Quark jumping forward, looking for these kills, gonna be trying to get rid of the spirits. Draper running out of time now on his um, primal split. He's gonna be trying to get away and I think he's just gonna be okay. Quark is out of spirits and doesn't have anything to pound forward with, not choosing to take that step. But the Agatum Scepter is queued up about halfway. They're gonna keep going though. Kid actually is gonna find this kill as they punish Tom's like over aggression and they know the wards are there, so that's gonna be quickly dewarded. That's Ravage ready still on Huskam, so. Yeah. He could be looking for another fight. Uh... Just building the police. Ah, that fish is actually really low on mana, so. Maybe if he runs back to base and TB's. Yeah, he's got Stop. TB boots. Stop. Maybe he could. Yeah, he's just gonna farm all the way back to base and then. Yeah, uh, then TP top. TP but he needs to be fast to, if he wants to defend this tower. They have a glyph, they wanna use it. Shanti, though, moving forward. Oh, Risky egg, Drisky's gonna ready. be the first choice. Ultimate gonna be used and does kill off Risky Drisky. Space Cowboy gonna get that kill. The tower is taking a lot of damage, but here comes Fish. Fish. Back with full mana. He's very low already. He's managed to use the, the flaming lasso to get the first kill. Tom though is going to be the one to secure that one. And there's going to be a, maybe a third kill for him. Fish going to be taking that kill though. Tom also getting the other support. Space Cowboy still decided to move forward. Look at the damage though. Wow. Oh, yeah, but I'm not sure if you should stay Yeah, the kid ah, behind kids. him though jumps forward, gets another kill. The tower is about to fall, but everyone is here. They're both the cores. Quark is there as well. Can they save Space Cowboy? They're going to use the fear. And they're not really going to get the kill. They're going to try and get on the huh? Quark. And Quark does finally die. The kid now moving forward. going to try and get the kill on the kid. Frisky Drisky also going to be there. The kid trying to survive here. But not going to be able to face three people at the same time. And that fight, I think, probably goes to the hands I think of the Clinks dies. Nautical Knights. Oh, yeah. That's risky. Uh, the Clinks. I've got the Shadow Dance. Being chased down. Shadow Dance, yep. Yeah. Well, Snapfire Beard actually dealing quite a lot of damage here. He's got quite a few of these kills uh, under his belt. Oh, and he's going and fish. from Maelstrom and click there. Yeah. Looks like, looks like okay. Radiance middle tower yeah. is under attack. Space deals damage, but he's he has zero escape. He even went for a four star. Yeah. And he didn't he go for his build as well. Yeah, no. for the Tesso. But I think Dezel kind of makes sense with Anchor Smash as well, if you want to, you know, farm it's, it's uh, okay. camps. It's yeah. okay, it's okay. Wow. Uh, the wave clear is decent. Mm -hmm. Gets wants to get the Hurricane Bike next. I, I still think yeah. he's not, 
if people go on space, on, on space, he's not, he's just dying. Um, yeah, he's not safe at all. Yeah, he has no real clear. Uh, they have, as well. they have a lot of jump. The bat is super fast. Pounce on Phoenix. Uh, does he get a blink on Husker now? That's, then the invis snap to scout him out. So it, it's really yeah, they're gonna go risky. on fish though. They're gonna try and get through all that HP. It's gonna be a really difficult thing to do though. But they're moving forward though on half HP now, and they do manage to clean them up. And Kid is gonna take that kill. Lots of gold to his bank account there, 800 at the very least. It's gonna put him very close. Oh, to it makes the game nearly even though with that kill. Yeah, fish hadn't died up till that exact point. How much gold did he give? Well, 900. Gold? Yeah. yeah, 900 actually. Wow. Nearly 1k. Yeah, Nine, 960. Yeah. Two supports see each other and say, like, nah. Yeah, I think they, may they are stronger if they group up. Maybe they just want to farm a few more minutes. Is there any key item on Phoenix? Looks like he wants a scepter. Maybe wait the scepter on Phoenix. Is there something big coming up for Batrider? Looks like now he wants some magic, wants to shroud, but still a long way to go. No big items coming up soon for, for Daya, yeah. but I still think they should group up at some point rather soon because their team fight is uh, superior with. They're looking for this oh, kill now, actually. They're gonna find somebody as Quark kills another kill on Eldorus. That is quite a few, unfortunately, for Eldorus, to, specifically to Quark. I think he's being hounded for that now. A Quark taking full advantage of him. Uh, Tormentors are now up, so they see whether they, but either team favor uh, getting that shard upgrade, but most of them do have their shards already if they need it. Uh, the kid has his already. Uh, Space Cowboy doesn't have one to upgrade to, so he's probably not requiring that. Uh, the Clinks might want one for the uh, Death Shroud. Yeah, Death Shroud actually, like we talked yesterday, probably the best, uh, one of the best shards yeah, in the game. Yeah, one of the best upgrades in the game. Yeah. He's going Orchid first item. Brown boots into Orchid on Clinks. Yeah. But, yeah I guess for the Phoenix, but we just saw the Phoenix just kills him. <coughs> yeah, but still superior team fights definitely on the side of um, of Daya. Absolutely for now. They they they're still holding on to that lead. The lead has definitely come down a lot it's since the start of the game. It's, it's almost damage. completely balanced. Yeah. Great damage even. Both in XP and in, in gold. Radiant are scanning. If they don't take fights, uh, slowly but surely get outfarmed, it looks like. Well, there's a three-man smoke on the bot lane, though, and it looks like they're going to be pushing out this lane. The kid's going to probably clear out that one more creep wave, but they want to start looking for that Roshan. They do have the damage, I believe, now. There is Hurricane Pike has been finished on Space Cowboy. They do have the Anchor Smash in the Tide uh, tanking, the yeah. Tesselator as well, and the Tide has Ar Heaven's Halberd with Armlet. That's so this smoke. should be a, quite a quick one. Yep, a four-man smoke, though, as well. For the Dyer, I think they sent something. I don't think they've scanned for this yet, though. But the Roshan is not falling that fast. They need to move it extremely quickly, but I don't think they're going to be there in time. And that's no. going to be a really smart choice for that for the team. And looks like the kid and his team do secure the Aegis. They're going to run right into each other, though. They're going to blink forward. And it's a really unfortunate blink because he runs right into the rest of the team there. And it's going to be the Aegis going almost that's immediately. Instantly. Here comes the turnaround. The, sun, the egg is going to be a little bit out of the ways of the fight there. The rabbit nice is going to be perfect though landing on three. The kid's going to die immediately. And I think this fight's going to be cleaned up very quickly. The damage is pretty insane by Space Cowboy. Actually going to get two people out. The kid does buy back. Eldoras going invisible here. Trying to survive. Space Cowboy looking for Tunf but not going to be able to find him as he's invisible. And the fight is going to be split up across this map. And it looks like actually the Diet and Nautical Knights in full retreat. They managed to secure at least two of those ki uh, two kills. They do kill um, the Aegis immediately as the kid misplayed, blinked straight into them, died, came back, died immediately again, and then bought back. So really punishing what the, ki the kid's resources. Yeah. But they do, it does come at a cost of the two supports. So 
There's yeah. a lot of those it's coming out from space even. here. Yeah. It was an even fight after all with the buyback. Yeah. It was, yeah. Despite that Aegis. And yeah, the buyback I think was just too much. Unfortunately. Oh. Did he get that? Yes. And Fish stealing the arcane rune from, from the kids. One more K for the shrouds on Bat and on, on Fish. And I would guess he gets Shivas after that. Then maybe Strength Blink or, or Dispel. Let's see what he's choosing. What do does Phoenix have? He finished his Agonyms once a Manta style next. I think he, he might also need a lifesteal at some point on, on Quack. Maybe a Satanic wouldn't be too bad on him. Yeah, actually, I could see the Satanic happening as well, or even just going for a straight crit. I think sustain is more important. You, you deal a lot of damage anyway with just your essence. Essence shift. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Oh, playing very aggressively, though. Nautical Knights looking to play in the dire jung oh, in the Radiant Jungle. Have another smoke, or why are they grouping up? They have a smoke on, on the Frisky. Maybe want to use it. Let's see. After they want to pressure this tier two, it looks like Quark is thinking of the same thing. He's queued up a Manza style as well. That's going to be useful to get purge uh, yeah, off some of these abilities as well. And yeah, over the, the way on on tides. Yules on the kit. The orchid is finished on. Uh, orchid is on finished. Things. Yeah, I'm just going to check that as well. Pike looks in like space. they both, both things want to defend this. Up oh, the tide of the moving forward is going to get disarmed straight away there. The disarm returned as well. And now the silence. Fish may be overstepping, but here comes the Sunray. And it's going to try and get this secured kill, but not really going to be able to finish. I mean, we're not dying really quite yet. They're actually going to force the split, and actually, it's going to be the Husker who dies first. Quite as really the support takes a kill. Fish is probably going to die as well, and Slark also going to fall. And a really good defense coming out from the kid. Is Quark going to get out as well? He will. Tumph is just going to be trying to run away under here. The kid looks for him. Actually, does he find him? Or is that just <laughs> he does not see him. He oh does my not see him, but... scared for his life. Literally <laughs> nuking down the quick wave and catching him as well. Really looked like he saw him, but... Yeah, didn't. I thought he caught it, but no, just a, just the quick wave, really. And now they're moving to the mid lane here. They're going to be pushing out that mid lane. And they're going to try and turn around on the kid here. The kid, though, has a Yule's pot moving forward on the pounce, trying to catch him, but doesn't really get him. And has to be forced to pounce backwards. No space cowboy going to be TPing away for the moment. He's defending on the top lane there. Another a third pair of TP boots, actually, in this game as well. Uh, on Space Cowboy. I think that was his last item. And he's going for a Daedalus next. Well. Yeah, that might yeah. be the right choice. We saw him eat. Big right yeah. He deals really a lot of damage with just one slide, one anchor on top. Bounty. Quite a lot of damage for on heroes with that combo. And a um, small lead now for uh, the. For Radiant, the yeah. kids. I think it's the first time in this game where they've taken actually not not quite the first time, but a significant lead. And they hope for the shard on the clinks, and they get it on, on Elrotite. And that's a good shard too. Primal yeah. split one. Primal split, yeah. I mean, even the faster cursed crown is also decent. The brambles don't work because it doesn't have bramble mace, but it's still okay. And the smoke here by the Nautical Knights, but they're gonna find nothing. Looking to go into the triangle now. They might run into Shanti, oh, but he is yeah, notoriously yeah. tanky. Halberd and Armler, they're gonna see maybe him run into the cube there, but go right past him. They're gonna find the kid instead, and it's probably gonna be a really important kill. They drop the egg as well. Are they gonna be able to defend this? They're not gonna be able to fight this at all. They're gonna use the primal split actually. And then actually the, it's gonna be oh, fish who falls. Space, tries to dive. space cowboy does survive. That's rather unfortunate. And they're gonna run turn around this fight here. Elderas with the rest of his team now going on to the offlaner and the snapfire is gonna be the next person to fall. Oh Quack the tried to kill defense. space. But yeah, overextended instead. himself. His team was stuck defending and just couldn't get that uh, couldn't get that fight win. 
Um, the splits coming out from um, Draveth are really, really well timed. Like just right before the sun, uh, the egg popped itself. He did it earlier as well to prevent him from dying. So he's getting these really, really um, valuable ultimates in these team fights, which mean that for a support not dying while they commit all these uh, all these abilities, it's really, really, really clever of him. Uh, I mean, the, the problem really heads up late. main main issue was they went on the kit. And they didn't kill him within the no. last duration. And yeah, the after that, the, the fight was practically over. Yeah, the, after the Yules, they were they were there was no follow up after that, and they, yeah. I think they, it cost them a lot to to try and commit. And even Fish got desperate in that position to to need that kill, and it still didn't work out for him. Yeah, they need to layer their their stuff more. Get a good ravage on the kids and then follow up with the lasso or something like that. But is there a blink coming up? It looks like no blink Dyer's in Huska. Pipe instead. Yeah, it's already a pipe on that support of Eldros as well. Well, the kid looking to finish up his Wind Waker. He's going to be building. Actually, looks like he's going to go for the Lincolns first, so he doesn't get uh, lassoed any longer. Yep, that's the Wind Waker. Why is it even a hex on, on the kid after that? Ah, no, the hex actually builds different. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's a slightly weird uh, choice. Um, item progression. Okay, got the Lincolns, and as you said, and some survivability there. Wind Waker Quark after them, it's fish. really hard to catch. Really hard to yeah. catch with Blink, Lincolns, and the. Uh, Wind Waker. And the Yules, uh, yeah, and Wind Waker. And the Terrorize as well, as if they ch if they want to commit to that. It looks like there's a big Fireman Smoke though on the bot lane, as the Team Kid this time wanted to get on the aggressive side. They're going to be looking, I think they they sense that Rosha should be coming up very, very soon, and they are about right, 90 seconds to go. Let's ward it up. They might be running in, they're going to find the Invis Tumph, but they don't have the dust for it. They dropped the ward far too late, and Tumph is fortunate to get out of there without any scratches on him. I think they're going to try and keep looking for another hero here in the area. Frisky Drisky going to be playing a little bit safe there. Check, think, checking for the Roshan, it's not quite up. Another 70 seconds still to go. Are they camping around here? It's all under vision from the Nautical Knights. Now that dust yeah, there's a big smoke runs out. pushing top lane as well. The tier 1 tower is going to Radiance fall to the creeps. Instant D-Ward. So now it's a guessing game for the Nautical Knights. Is Roche up? Are they going for Roche? 40 seconds to go. If they are patient, they will They will see this. I think it's actually... It's, they, Fish it's is smoke breaks. Fish is jumping forward. Oh. He's looking for the vision there. He finds the Huskar. Um, the... Big Ravage. Ravage is going to be popped as well, and there's going to nice be some egg. The egg behind them as well. The egg's going to land. It's going to get just just a couple people at the edge, but it looks like Space Cup is going to get a double kill first. They have no damage. And now they're going to be fearing Quark, and Quark is probably going to die here, surrounded by opponents. And Fish is also going to fall as the kid shoots him in the face. And it's going to be a four-man team wipe. Oh. Uh, only person surviving really was Fish, just TPing out. They get all, they get out all their big teamfight ultimates, but they, ha but they have no damage. Yeah. On the nautical nuts now. I mean, once the little shredder is finished, that the, there is really nothing that the Phoenix can do. You have to get it on the right target and get them pretty okay. much out of the game. Look at the damage dealt in the fight recap. It was non, no one on. Oh Dyer my goodness! Any no, damage? A thousand. Space dealt eight k damage. Dark yeah, I didn't expect that build game. to do this crazy. But I mean, he's got the items for it now. Daedalus, Max Desolator, Hurricane Pike, big stat damage as well. I think they should kill the yeah. Space Cowboy first. That's the That should be there. Is it 900 goal. damage crit? But now the Tidehunter has the taunt on top. Uh, with the oh Aghanim's life break. Facing someone at his door. Mm -hmm. uh, do we have? Let's check all the items. I guess there's a lot of item progression for 
Radiant after they won the last few fights. Uh, but I think we caught them all. Albert Scepter, Armnet on tights. Then the Lincolns, Kaya and Sanj, Dagan and Soon, I would assume. It's uh, oh, it's still a... yeah, nothing too nothing too drastically new there. I think the Manta was finished by Quark as well in that team fight, but I think uh, they're starting to run out of steam on yep. the side of uh, Nautical Knights. I think he, Phoenix just needs more attack speed than the Satanic to be able to yep. sustain Alas, himself please, right? a bit. Yeah, Space Cowboy is putting him on very very low HP, and there's really nothing the team or him can do to kind of keep fighting there. If if it comes to the point where Space Cowboy gets gets you know he gets really lucky and gets these really really big crits they're not going to be able to even take a team fight it's just going to be this kind of long range very very difficult very hard to lock hard to uh face massive slides of slides of fist I damage think, i think they they even need a, now they have a pipe on dire i think they also need an ac and a, and a flats just for the armor yeah aura just against, to help uh, against uh natural order and the Tezo. Yeah, for sure. And there's already a Vlad's as well on their team, so that's going to be just a little bit of that extra, uh, extra money in the in their. Maybe AC on their, snap. Eighteen oh, percent uh, bonus damage. Yeah, it is pretty good. And they do find the Roshan. This is going to come with Roshan's banner, and the Roshan does now put his raw retribution, announcing to the world that he is under fire. I think. Uh, Nautical Knights know that there is nothing they can do as now the Roshan is gone. And are they picking up the banner? They did picking yeah. it up. And are they using it? Oh. So he's going to use it immediately. Where is he Let's putting see. it down? Let's find out. It looks like he's going to put it down. He's going oh, to put it in there mid lane. It is. There it is. Roshan's banner. Uh. Those were not affected yet, so the next creep we're gonna be some strong creeps. Let's see. There, there we have them. Plus 12 damage. Plus how much HP is it? 1k versus oh, 500 HP nearly. It's like um super creeps. Yep. So next five minutes, constant pressure on mid lane, Dyer's middle tower and the tip for placing the the banner. <laughs> to space, <laughs> really well done, space. Nice, nice use of the banner and the smoke. Let's see. I mean, they won the last few fights, even with Dyer having the bigger team fight ults with Ravage and the Egg, but they just uh, out sustain them. Yeah. They need to find a way of getting getting a space cowboy out of this fight uh, first before. I think mean, like space cowboy's damage is insane. He's got a bottle DD as well, to, ready to go. Ooh. He's queuing up his next item, which is looking to be a Lincoln's. Uh, uh, yeah, right choice. Be, they need to, they need to catch him immediately. And you know Shanti's now so tanky with the Aghanim scepter, almost on four four and a half k HP. He's got the able, ability to taunt people now. It's going to be a rough, rough team fight. And yeah, the longer these team fights go, the worse it will be for them. Space Cowboy, first side of Fist. Gonna have the next one in four seconds. It's going to try and get harassment damage on it. Here comes the kid though, moving forward. And the kid's kicking a lot of damage. going to force himself down. He did blink forward there. He doesn't have any save anymore, but it's going to get away with his life. The side of Fist continue. And yep, these long, long lasting team fights. I, I can only imagine they're gonna go for Space Cowboy's way. They could have even killed the, the kid there with, if they commit the, the Ravage. I think it would have been worth it. Because Aegis is on, is on the Queen. Lincoln's now already finished there. Dropping the bottle back to give it back to his teammates. Side of Fist coming off cooldown now. Looking for the next target. Gets those two. Gets a 1400 crit on Quark. This is going to start hitting on these racks. Half HP now, another side of Fist. Quark taking a brunt of that attention. Four staff away. Good saves here by the rest of the team with these four staffs. And it looks like they're going to TP away. They're happy to just deal the damage that they've done. Yeah. And they're going to go and defend and push out the rest of the waves. Half HP on the melee mil racks, but they, they're going to region. Illusion. Oh, he forgot the tier 4 token. 
the kids. And he pings it. And are they seeing it and stealing it? Come on, quack anyone! Hey, they Where don't see it. At the ancient camp. Oh yeah, Tearful Token. The triangle. Hmm. Come on, see it. Can, does nobody see it? Frisky Drisky? Huh? Frisky Drisky? No, not paying attention. Okay, it looks right. like they're going to go for the team fight in the bot lane instead, and they're going to try and, and get gets the support. Him. Eldorus does die. Oh, in space now? On their own. He does have the Aegis, though, so they're going to try and kill him, kill, kill him now. And he yeah, will but Titan, the first though, it's not kill. even close. They're going to try and get the fear now, and the Frisky Drisky is going to go forward. They're going to try and get the kill on Space Cowboy. The second one, but it looks oh. like the kid's going to jump forward onto Fish. The egg's gonna be dropping now as well there. They barely get out. Space Cow is actually going to fall to Quark and he's gonna get this kill. And now this is the time for Nautical Knight to reverse this team fight and try and get the win here. Tump is gonna be taking the focus here. Draven has popped the ultimate. This primal splits trying to do the damage. Shanti now fighting Fish on his own, but the rest of the team is coming back in. Here comes Quark here with the right clicks. BKB gonna be used, and wow, Shanti getting the first kill here. He's gonna Albert. disarm. Quark, Quark is now, um, Fish is gonna oh have to run, uh, Quark is gonna have to run back, and now Quark is going forward again, looking for the kid, he's gonna fall to the kid, but the illusions will kill him, actually Fish is gonna get that kill instead, Fish now diving forward, looking for the lasso, he's gonna catch the tide hunter here, Shanti now, very healthy still though, not really worried about it, not a, does not have enough damage on Fish. And Frisky. I think that's gonna be a Frisky Drisky trying to TP no, out here fine. just in front of everybody, but there's nothing anyone else can do. But overall, uh, a sign of life from the Nautical Knights. Good fight for them. Yep. Catching them out good. of position here. Fish dealing a lot of damage of that team fight where he needed to. And I think the Shivas really helps him output a lot more. Yeah, definitely. Not really well played, picking off the Klinks with the who has the Deptra to save uh, his team, picking him out first, then killing uh, Space and even twice they killed Space Aegis plus killing him afterwards, and then they traded yeah. the kid for uh, Quack. Yeah, they caught they caught the Space Cowboy just out of position, I think, because his teammates weren't weren't in the area to be able to assist him. Ah, with that and now they're going for the AC, by the way, on on phoenix and he wants a satanic afterwards i like it yep. that's good that's good that's the way back for him into this game getting some armor and some sustain uh, some lifesteal steel 16k like lead this. for the kids uh, but yeah. Yeah. Say they're gonna find clink so actually they're gonna get the support here Draper's now going to be the second focus. He has the primal split. He's going to use it. He's going to use that actually to escape. He's going to try and run away. If they focus the Earth Spirit one, they're going to be able to catch him out. They're actually not going to let any of the spirits run away. It looks like the last one's going to fall there, and he does kill, kill Fish securing that kill as well. Well played. Yeah, in a 40-minute game, the gold graph is now turning right down into the other direction. And yeah, the Nautical Knights... Trying to uh, try not to lose too much grip on this game one. Yeah. Did a nice job. But they want a, a Daedalus on Snapfire. Okay. I mean, they're getting the AC on Phoenix. Uh, yeah. I think it's the Burning Barrage as well, helping them out with uh, that long range damage. I still think if Flats wouldn't hurt on um, Dion. <laughs> It looks like uh, Slark just wants the refresher instead. Some big items uh, queued up for Fish and his team on the Nautical Knights. We'll have to Ooh. see what Team Kid will do have to say about that. AC now finished on yeah. Phoenix. That's finished. That's a big pickup for them. Indeed. The Kid has yet to get a new item. Still got that dag on level 1. Not sure if he's going to choose to upgrade it. Looks like he's queued up the Hex. Size of Ice uh. and the uh, BKB. So that's probably going to be goodbye to the Dagon, to be honest. And another five man smoke now. All ulties coming off cooldown in Both just a moment. Tower is under and they're looking for this fight. Nautical Knights into the triangle. They don't find anybody. Same for Team Kids. They are dodging each other. Running through. They're, they're going to run right underneath this ward here in their own triangle. Smoke's still holding strong. 
Radiant. <laughs> it will be it will be Nordicolite smoke that breaks first. They're just one and one one step behind one another. Mm, they might have spotted that, that the kid has cleared out that creep wave. Some pings coming out there, to, trying to find out where they've gone. And also, it looks like they're going to be spotted here. They know exactly where they are. Both smoke can be spotted out. And re -smoke. second smoke be used by both teams. They're going to rotate the other way around, <laughs> oh completely the wrong way. <laughs> go up into the triangle now. While well, meanwhile, the other team oh, move is back into the them? jungle. Shanti just on the edge. They're expecting, waiting for someone to make a false move. This is really, really 3D chess. Nobody's knowing where anyone is. Every lane is dark. Every lane has no hero showing. There's going to be Shivas now showing up in the mid lane, so they might be pinging that out. They're going to be pinging out the wards on the triangle as well. And it looks like the second smoke rotation from both teams is going to just disappear. Playing hide and seek here instead of Dota yeah, those my two goodness. teams. And they still haven't found each other. But maybe uh, Radiant wants to transition this into a push for mid lane. Creep wave tower. is coming in. Banner no ran out. Left for either team. And a little bit of pressure on top by the creep wave. That should should be should be fine. We're getting quite into the uh, quite into the edge of this late game in ability drafts today for the first game. <laughs> yeah. Aeon disc oh, now being picked fish up by finding all space. Well, space on his own now. Quark looks jumps in as well. He's gonna try and get the right click damage here. They're gonna get the ultimate. The side of fish coming out there, but it looks like space is gonna fall first. But they're actually gonna Phoenix find Quark on his own. They're gonna try and focus him out now. He tries to use the spirits away. The pounce is good. And fish just tip it out. And goes back in? Or is wow, he going back in? He's going back in. <laughs> no, fish! Oh, fish, are you sure about that? You, the rest of your team was a little bit further behind. He's going to get stunned up. There is no BKB. He's tanky. He's oh. tanky though, but the damage is really good coming out from Tune. That actually is going to be helping out quite a fair bit. And fish is going to kill off at least one more support. The kid now jumps forward. He's looking to get that extra kill. He's going to kill Clark now. However, Ravage is going to be used. They're going to try and get the sun uh the egg to kill the rest of these uh primal splits and it looks like you're gonna manage to as draven is gonna get fall as well and tump this build working out that was a him. that was such a big burning barrage on three people let's see Tom, yeah, Tom Rosta, now. yeah 6k damage from fish and 4k damage from tung from or tanf on the snap yeah, another teamfight win for the Nautical Knights. They are slowly making it back into yeah. this game. Uh, They're bringing it back. They yeah. definitely are. The gold graph continues to kind of plateau a little bit and then drop off again as, as Nautical Knights do win these two gauges. And, uh, One more teamfight for them and good teamfight for them and it's dead even again. I think they'll start to threaten the bases as well Radiant because tier twos are all, there's two attack. tier twos still remaining for their outer towers, so they're not careful. They're gonna miss out on these options. And it looks like they're gonna try and sneak this Roshan though. The kid is gonna show up there. Has spotted it. His Titan just followed them as we well. He's it. got the packing bar ready to go. I think he can even solo it on on tight. Yeah, Queen of Pain Understood. also. Space Cowboy perhaps looking to try and come up as well. Are they pinging it out though? And Quark is just going to respawn in time. He's got the teleport. He's waiting to use it. So They're pinging it out. The Space Cowboy rooming around as well. Shanti starting off the combat here. Space Cowboy now shows up. He's going to be starting to do this damage. And the Roshan probably won't roar this time, I believe, because it was going to the wrong team. Oh, no, he does roar. So it was Space yes. Cowboy and his team. They've heard the roar now, so they should know Roshan is being currently taken down. Maybe they've resigned themselves yet yeah, far too quickly. And that's going to be a cheese Ooh, a and an Aghanim shard. And Aghanim Scepter even, yeah. Goes to Elotite, it looks like, for the AoE gush. Oh, sorry. Aghanim's blessing as well, I meant to say, yes. What I don't like that's about uh, Space's itemization, he wants to go for another Daedalus. I don't like the double Daedalus at all. Should go something else instead, a Skadi or something. I think it's all right. 
I think Double Daedalus will just make sure his damage is very, very secure. And I think he's worried he's not going to be able to eat through these tankier heroes with all the items on it. And uh, there's not a lot of lifesteal anyway on the other team to counter. I mean, Phoenix it's is good, the It's still good against, against uh, the ranged cores on... Yes, three ranged cores on, on Diam, so... The yeah. slow is significant from Skadi. And applying it on everyone with uh, one slide is... It's good. Actually. it's good. Yeah, no, I think so too. But if they're dead, if they're dead, Blob, then what? <laughs> and it makes him a bit tankier, even. That is true. Yeah, gives him a bit of those stats. We know we know this to be true. But for now, looks oh, like uh, driving seat. Made his choice, yeah? yeah, for the kid, driver's yeah. seat. As they look to try and pressure this mid tower again. And they're moving forward now. Fish looking for this uh, lasso, decided against it in the after all. They're going to try and deal some damage. The Taunt is out there now. They're going to try and go on to Fish, but Space Cowboy actually going to be... Dead. Unfortunately, not going to be able to survive. Yeah, Shanti's dead. Space Cowboy going to be the target next. Horrible and they're going to actually fight. try and get every bottom. And wow, they're going to try almost catch up with everyone there. Their egg is going to be popped as well. The kid runs forward here. He's going to try and do some damage. Has to spin away. And they're going to get the kill now. Quad going to get the first kill. Space Cowboy going to get a double kill. There's going to be some buybacks now for the Tide Hunter. But I don't know if Space Cowboy can do this on himself. He falls during his own slice of this. But I mean, he still gets head. the two supports with the, before the dying. So, at least something. But still a team fight win for the Nautical Knights. Yeah, but Fish taking that money. 1,800, nine, almost 2,000 gold for killing Space Cowboy. And two buybacks. One from Tide Hunter, one from Snap. Just to keep that in mind. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Yeah, and a really good defense. And the thing, the last three or four fights, Radiance the uh, nautical knights have strong. shown that they've got a, they got this game. They understand their position in it, and they're gonna get another. Is that another AC on Batrider? Uh, Hang on. The, the, they've got two ACs. Oh, true. Mm, okay. <laughs> that is a. Uh, Maybe he just wants you know, that armor. He wants that armor to survive against. It's, just, uh, it's ten armor. You can just just buy the plate mail. That's that's ten armor. Maybe if Quack is dead, then they still need another AC. I don't know. I'm not the best, but it's okay. No, yeah. planning for failure is never the right option. But I mean, he's got it now, so they've got two ACs. Armor is really important this game. Yeah, that's but I mean, yeah, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing. It's just. Not the best choice, but I've seen worse. It, yeah. I've seen I've seen worse things in my life. <laughs> Three desolators on the same team I've seen before. Um, quite questionable, but there you um, go. by the way, we had some heroes reached level twenty-five. So Batrider plus Ooh. ten sticky napalm damage. Oh, Dark yes, Willow really two bedlam. Uh, at, what does that do? Two bedlam. Bedlam attack attacks targets. two hero, uh, three okay. heroes instead of one. Okay. I don't understand it. Uh, sonic wave damage for space, and yeah. I think Phoenix has only gold. So some good talents coming out here. And Hex finished on Dark Willow. Maybe let's have a look at all those items. Uh, Lotus on Clinks. And like we said, Hex and Wind Waker on Willow. Uh, four stuff on Elder Titan now. Did the double Daedalus yeah. on Space. It looks For like actually he's going to save the uh, Dagon. So if you look at Kid's build, he's going to finish BKB and then try and max out his Dagon. They do have really Zelda good boots. high ground defense though. Yeah. And Parasma, by the way, on, on Fish with the uh, overwhelming yep. Blink and the AC Completely we're finished. talking about. Yep. A on Disc. Slot. And the flats now on on Husker. Yeah. Oh. Satanic on both Snap and Quack on Phoenix. Yeah, I think it's slowly but surely it's coming together the the builds Radiance on Dyer. On Indeed. Oh, and a quick disconnect by Fish. Maybe this is a... Uh... We... I joke... Okay, okay, Blob. I know we joked that, like, we'll have the same internet issues and we'll be here till like stupid am <laughs> but like we've had three pauses already and i'm starting to worry game one is 51 minutes in we've got three best of threes to go 
Yeah, only a little bit behind in schedule. So <laughs> only a little bit behind schedule. Yeah, it's I think uh, it's if you are tuning good. in, guys, if you're tuning in, there's plenty of ability draft to watch this evening. We've got lots to show you. This is only the first of the best of three between t these two fearsome teams. And we will find out at the end of this series who of them will be sitting in grand finals waiting for their opponents. Uh, meanwhile, on the other stream, at Tieran's stream, there'll be the other loser's bracket for our final going on. Uh, oh, true, exactly. You know, loser's bracket semi going on. So if you want to see the winner between, uh, I believe it was um, Spice Boys versus... Uh, not wasn't Team Lost, which was Piggy. the other one? Piggy. Piggy, Team Piggy. If you want to see the result of that team, please tune into Tiaren's stream. I, th I believe he's streaming in a different language in Russian, but no, it's by all means, give him. He's in English. All right, you 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 threw me for a spin. We mentioned it between him and Russian earlier. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's the the other the lower bracket finals and the grand finals. He's gonna cast in Russian. Um, ah, so he's the uh, second. Lower... Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay, this okay, one okay, is okay. in since it's a this parallel in game. English, it's in yeah. English. Yeah, yeah tune in, support chat. him as well, and thank exactly. you for uh, your. Watch both the streams at the same best. time. Watch yes, both please, please. <laughs> we appreciate all of you. Pause released now. Fish has returned with an yep. apology. Uh, looks like the torments are going to be taken. It's just gold. Everyone's got their shards now. There's no useful shards on the team. I think it's going to be a smoke here. Or... Yeah, smoke from the team kids. Yeah. Or... Okay, five man smoke. They are ready to go. Yeah, mid, but items mid that they're ready. In. Two havoc hammers. Ready to roll. Interesting choice by Space Cowboy. He's got an aesthetic cap instead of any damage item for his tier four. Might not be wrong uh, against. Uh, yeah. Uh, Valuing the debuff. Yeah. It got buffed so many times the the cape. Radiant oh, and they get the scan on on an article yep. knife here. Fish is very close to his level 30, which means another thousand gold, and it'll probably give him the. Uh, Do they the, have the boss to go the in? That's the want. question. Looks like they are unsure if they should go to in. To be fair. At the moment, the team that has been the aggressor has made mistakes the most. I think when Fish was the when Fish and uh, were the aggressors, they didn't manage to kill the right targets, and uh, when um, the kid and his team were aggressors, they managed to kind of not get the right targets either. So it's more playing on the opponent's mistakes. It looks like they're going to smoke up again yep. as the five men smoke now into their triangle on the dire side. The trailer maybe wrap around. Roshan's going to be up in about forty seconds. And counting, he's going to rotate in a minute's time from the Dyer area, or from the Radiant area to the Dyer. So he's very soon to be uh, to be showing up. And it looks like, yeah, t the kid and his team looking to try and take this high ground, trying to secure the area behind him. I think they suspect that people are behind them because of the creeps in that creep wave coming down. Can they catch Two space? People who needs four seconds? He needs to really channel this soon. Three, two, one. Okay, he's fine. Oh, okay, he's fine. It. He's doing it. Don't know why he waited, but he's fine. <laughs> and Quack has enough gold for uh, Butterfly, but no item slots. Might have to get the uh, Aghanim's Blessing to get, to clean up a slot for him. Yeah. Ooh, and Refresher on, is on Slark, in... by the way. Yeah. Oh, is there? Oh, yeah. He, he queued that up earlier. So that's double egg, double sunray now. And defined space. Yeah. Link and pop. Oh, they're actually going to find Space Cowboy now. They're going to try and take this fight as night immediately falls. The the uh, sonic wave is going to come out first. And they're going to try and get these side of fish. The rabbit going to drop on Death four shots. members. But no one has died just yet. They're going to pop a huge... Um, Sonic Hammer, or the, the Havoc Hammer as well, and they're going to get two kills here. And Quark is going to be one of the casualties as well. The Kid now going to be focusing one of the other cores with his teammates. Tub is going to be finally falling. Shanti getting that kill with the Taunted ability from Lifebreak. And that's going to be three very important kills yes. for the team the Kid. And they're going to now move that Gold Graph back in their advantage. It's going to go completely U-turn, and they're going to try and make uh, this 
a very, very costly mistake for Nautical Knights and the ranks are the choice targets. Roshan in 12 seconds if they choose to change their mind here. But that Rax is going to fall. It's just a matter of time. And the kid the jumps next. in with the blink. They're going to have another buyback. back. The Hex is going to be out there as well. The Taunt is down on the Quark as well. There's no buyback back here. He's just pulled back as well. Actually, there was the Batrider who bought back. And now Fish is coming back one more time. Forced to use that buyback. back. The Rax is exposed. The Radiant Rax... Oh, uh, the Range Rax is going to fall there to the Catapult. And there's going to be an, uh, some harassment coming back in and out. Space Cowboy doing his best to try and put down this this Rax as well. Eldoras right-clicking there. Quark doing his best. And the back, the back line is going to be jumping in and actually going to find another comes. hero. And Frisky Drisky unfortunately going to be falling. And Shanti is going to get that kill. I think they have to let this Rax just fall. And I think that's the end, the end of that Rax. Yeah. Or you just... No buyback for Frisky Else you lose the whole game. Maybe they just have to give up both Rax. Else they I think gonna... this is definitely two lanes. They're going to convert it. They yeah. can't really defend with three people against the entirety of the uh, kids team. Space Cowboy here looks undeniably unbeatable. And they might even get the third racks here. They're thinking about it. And yes, it looks like the choice there. Shanti, so tanky with 5k almost HP. Shiva's blade mail and an Almo Mojijin running up there. Quark trying to kill him. They're not really doing the damage. There's a taunt as well. And the kid runs forward now. Shiva's going to be popped. Quark is going to be very low. He tries to pounce away, but it leaves the rest of his team to solo defend. And unfortunately, fish it's going to be the again. first kill there. They're going to get the fish. And fish has already used his buyback. There is no more fish in this fight. And he's going to be dead for another 116 seconds. And it's going to be just up to Ulrich, Quark, and Tan to defend what is going to be mega creeps. Will they be able to defend this? The kid is going to be now pressuring the tower. The Hex is coming off cooldown. They're ready to go in one more time. Will this be the final defense for Nautical Knights? Uh, I think it's going to be as the kid and his team start hammering away at the tier 4 towers. The Ancient is going to be exposed in just a second. The jump in here. Shanti going to try oh, and get the taunt. Don't the 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 back line, uh... to. Behind. They're going to try and get this kill. The big 4-man Ravage and the Egg is going to be dropped as well. Quark jumps in here. Doing a lot of good damage here on everyone. Very, very low. He's still alive there. Now he's going to get the kill on Space Cowboy. So he's going to be out of the fight as well as one Shanti. of his supports. Going to be focusing on Alderos as well. Shanti now going to be trying to get away, but it's going to be focused by Quark now. Going to have a jump in another second. It's going to be maybe looking for him. The flame, flame, um, and the Firefly revealing which way he's going. The Spirit is going to be thrown out there, but he chooses not to chase him out. Rax is gone. All the creeps are now megas. The Ancient is exposed. But I wouldn't say it's game over. For they can defend this, uh, actually, on uh, nothing on that. I, think, I don't think they're going to call it GG just because it's megas. I think they're going to hang in there. Yeah. I think they have a chance. It's just the last. Literally, there is no other. There's no other fallback. They have nothing else to hold themselves back in this game. It's just the ancient and themselves. They have to be very careful about taking any risks. And you know, all a lot of buybacks already rapier, used in terms of the, by the way. One rapier oh. on Phoenix and another rapier soon on Snapfire. So I think that's oh. their that's their play. Win. They need two the team fight. Mary. They need two team yeah. fight wins on on Daya now. They need to win. Once, oh. force buybacks, win again, and then they can uh, finish the game, maybe. That's the only yeah, plan they they're going to have. Any... The only person with buybacks is their Slark. The Slark does have Refresher, and so has the second Supernova if they choose to use it. But there is no other buybacks on the team for another five minutes, at least. And Roshan yeah. is respawned already in the top left of the screen. Aghanim's Blessing ready to go as well. There's some upgrades that could be taken here. Slark could have the uh, upgraded um, ability as well. Flaming Lasso for the fish as well for the Aghanim's upgrade. The rest True. of the team they don't could. really have Yeah, that. but they cannot really go Roche right now because no. uh, all the lanes are coming in with Super mega, exposed. mega creeps. They need to execute this next fight to perfection in order yeah. to just keep themselves a chance to go take that Roshan, a chance to go take uh, another lane of Rax. The fight and here. Kind of balance out the lane pushing here. Because look at the top lane already. That one fight went so, so, so wrong for them and cost them the whole base. One fucked up fight. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. And I guess they can. I guess they, it's not completely over, but let's see. Let's see. Wait, and did 
Quack not toggle it to damage, or how does it does it show it on the on the divine? It shows a hundred. I think it's on ma magic right now because it just says a hundred damage. Yeah, it says plus hundred. Um, I mean, he's got plus what, 375, so I think he's got it on damage right now, but oh. it should, I'm not sure how okay, it's meant it's just... to show. I'm not sure how it's meant to be. And we toggled, one provides plus 250. Maybe, it, yeah. maybe you don't see it on the item itself, I don't know. But it looks like he has it on damage, yeah. It should be on damage, but yeah. it's hard to say. No, it, I mean, it, it should, should be. be like, do his damage, yeah. Looking at this damage, it's on damage, but it's. Uh, I've thought it says it somewhere on the item, or I can see it when I yeah. look at the item slot. But... Meanwhile, though, it looks like Roshan, and this is going to be so painful because they hear the roar of Roshan and, and they know where they are. 60 minutes, by the way. 60 minutes. Do. Yep, we've got Apex now. The tier 5 items have spawned. They're going to be Giant's Ring dropped everywhere. Oop, a little bit of a lag there. Coming mirror out image, teams. mirror image. Mirror shields coming ah, out yeah, from both shield. teams as well. Mirror shield, yeah, yeah. Shields. Yeah. <laughs> The biggest heroes ever now. We have Giant's Ring on most Giant's of the Ring on Queen? That's interesting. I kind of like it. Make Give yourself Giant's free pathing. Don't have to worry about actually moving around properly. Just yeah, yeah, roam right. wherever you please. You don't have to have boots anymore. Giant's nope. Is under attack. You still need to get the tier 5s uh, on all the other heroes. Indeed. A second a second uh, Divine Rapier now picked up by Tumf. And I think it's also on uh, damage. We've got much more damage here. 600. Maybe it's not on... Uh... No, no, he has a Daedalus on top. Uh... Yeah, but Daedalus, yeah. That one. Interesting. It should There should be a visual thing, right? For yeah, on I the thought item so too. Yeah. To show you. Different color or something. Or well, maybe it has yeah, it like on. Yeah, like blue for, blue for uh, magic or something. I don't know. Oh, well, it looks like the creeps are in the base, and yep. both teams are now and there. They're going to try and start this fight. They're already proccing the Aeon Disc, and they're going to jump in now. The Ravage is going to be dropping Ravage. out, and they're going to immediately kill the Clinks, but the Clinks is not the main target here. And look, the main target there, Scream of Pain, is going to come out there from Space Cowboys, trying to take out the rest of these creeps. It's going to be a huge crit killing the Huskar, and there's no buyback for the Huskar. He's out of this fight. Space, Space getting deleted. It looks like... um. Uh, the kid is going to be focused down on the on fish as well. Now fish is going to fall. The space cowboy is going to be alone hitting the racks. I don't think they can prevent him here. Quark moving forward. The eight, the uh, glyph is going to be used. It looks like Quark is going to be trying to juke around and trying to prevent everyone from fighting here. Frisky Drisky trying to jump in and help out his team, but I'm not sure they're going to be able to do this. And it looks like the ancient is going to be the focus now as yeah. Shanti is going to be starting to beat down on the ancient. Not sure they're going to be able to prevent him. The creeps as well are going to be forcing it down. I think it's going to be game one, and yet it will be nautical knights. Losing their first game in True. this tournament. And it's going to be the kid and his team who take game one of his best of three. True, true, true. First loss for, and still only wins for Team Kids. Indeed. Uh, gra Graf looked interesting. For a moment, it looked like the Nautical Knights were coming back into the game, and then that horrible fight on the top lane, and chaboom, game was. Suddenly, uh, nearly over. Yep. It didn't take long. They definitely played it very, very well. They executed that game quite, quite nicely at the late game. There was a couple moments where it did look like they weren't going to be able to kind of keep up the pressure, but they played it very careful. They took the right fights, they had the right vision, a lot of kind of positional play from both teams, and. Unfortunately, the damage coming out from the uh, Radiant was just too much. And that tanky Shanti on the Titan to really help them yeah. kind of solidify behind him. And he made it very difficult for them to focus him down as he survived through these team fights. And also, we'll every, I think every, is. nearly every egg is going to, oh, was it every egg is going to the team kids? And that also helped them quite a lot. 